Hi and welcome to the 6 for Dune tutorial series. And in this series we will create a class to load chairs. Now, so I create by creating two new files. I'll use the C++ class template and um, name this class shader loader create. Now, um, OpenGL uses something that's called shaders. I'll discuss that um, in much more detail in a future video. But this video is meant uh, to show you how you can compile such a shader, basically. So a shader is basically a source file you, um, uh, which is compiled at runtime of your when your yeah well your program will compile your it on runtime. Uh, so you you uh, you pack the source file you know, of the shader as a resource file with your application. Um, and a shader they are basically used by OpenGL. Um, mm, it's kind of hard to explain really. So I'll so this video I'll I'll, I'll really just show you how to create how to load a shader into OpenGL rather than explain what the shader is. Well, so yeah, so we start by beginning with private and public. Now, uh, so we'll only have one variable and that will be, and don't forget to include include uh, glfw slash glf3.h now we'll begin by creating a gl unsigned int variable and name this underscore program handle now just like with our vertex buffer this is simply uh, an id for a shader so we can use it later on and then public um, so let's create a, a get method for our Handle so chat unsigned int get program handle. Then, um, oh, sorry, our constructor. So simply do vertex. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Shader loader, and this will take two arguments. Um, so the first one will be basically a, a constant chart pointer and then to the source of the vertex shader so, so yes and a constant char pointer pointer to the source oh to the source of the fs so the fragment shader now uh, a shader exists of two different parts well a shader program consists of of uh, of two different parts, so the vertex shader and the fragment shader. Again, I'll explain them in more detail later. And our destructor will be simply shader loader with no arguments. Loader. And okay, why is this happening? Um, then one private method and this will be and this will return uh, basically a shell inside integer and it will be a, a method to load our shader uh, well I mean to compile the individual shader so again more info on that later so simply name this compile shader and this will have again two arguments gl enum and GL and uh, constant char pointer to source. And again, I explain the arguments later. Sorry, and then and simply to this target or uh, shader. Can you do GL and yeah, that's already better. Okay, then let's implement all of this. Um, so begin with your getter. So Shader loader get program handle. This time. 
Okay, then I simply do return return underscore program handle. So then uh, our our private method, so called pile shader. So again, chip underscore inside int. I keep writing chill yeah chill inside int no underscore. Uh, so shader loader and compile shader. So yeah, chill and then, and then shader and our constant char pointer to the source. Then so in this method we will simply compile the shader. So a shader consists of two parts. Well, a shader program consists of two parts. The fragment shader and the vertex shader, and yeah, so this method will compile those two types. So simply do um, gel and set integer and shader handle. So this is simply again a handle to the shader, so we can uh, use it later. And simply do gel create shader and, and then the type. So our shader. So that's our enum we sent with with uh, the source then again damn it then do gel shader source now uh, in with this function we sent the source to OpenGL so simply do um, the first argument indicates the our shader handle so shader handle just get it then the con so the amount of shader so in our case only one then a pointer to the uh, so yeah then simply the source and the length now um, oh, this is centrally important if our string so, so the string that we sent and I think this that has to be like a pointer or reference I always forget yes reference so make sure to so that this is a is a is a reference sorry nice so um, as long as our String is not remitted. We can simply say say no here. Uh, this is simply a variable to indicate the length of our of our uh, our string. But uh, ours will ours will be not remitted, so we don't have to specify that. Okay. Now we can do gel compile shader and simply do the shader handle. And then we done, and then we can return. So shader handle return. Okay, then let's create our constructor. So, um, so yeah, uh, shader loader point shader loader and um, yeah, constant char pointer. To the source of the vertex shader and VS and the constant sharp pointer turn to the source of the fragment shader. Okay, then so in this method we will create our actual shader program. So to do that, so first you do program handle and do GL create program and this will simply create a program and send an, yeah, an ID a handle so we can again access that program later with it so any sort of handle in that variable so then we uh, we call our own method so compile shader that's yeah, right now we create two shader handles so chill and so chill and set integer so and you can name the first one vertex shader and that will equal so our own method compile shader and the first argument is the kind of shader so uh, in our case gl underscore uh, vertex shader and then the source to the uh, shader so source ps and you can simply copy this line on or oh yeah, it's the manner. And then just unsign end. Uh, keep writing this wrong. And you can name this the 
fragment shader equals equals compile shader and this and now shell fragment shader with the source fs so this will compile our shaders then we we have to attach the shaders so uh, then we simply call gel attach shader and the program to which we attach them so our program handle and our handle of our shaders and we have to do this twice for every individual shader so again program handle and fragment shader so now we have all of the elements that we need for our share and so we can link it now so simply do uh, gl link program underscore program handle and voila our shader is done so we can now actually delete the individual parts we don't them anymore so simply do gl delete shader vertex shader and gl delete fragment shader and then we're done actually yeah that's it it's that simple so again we compile our shader and with this method then we attach the shader to our program so every program consists of two shaders a fragment and a vertex one then we link our program which is basically the last thing we have to do before actually before we can actually use our program and then we delete the individual parts again because we don't need them anymore so then let's create our, our destructor uh, so simply do shader loader yeah and this will be a quite simple so gel delete program and uh, underscore program handle And that's it. So again, uh, so here is our shader loader class. Um, again, I can't show you anything yet because we still need more things. But uh, yeah, we're coming there. So tomorrow, I'll actually create the actual program itself, so the actual source code, uh, which is actually in GLSL, which is which is another language. It's it's kind of like C, so it's it's really no problem. So, okay, uh, yeah, so see you then, guys. Bye.